Hey everybody, get Moki here, and I'm back to bring you the next part to my Lord of the Rings Gondor campaign. So, last time we left off, we took East Skilleth, and now we have a regiment of men here with Faramir and Boromir. Uh, so, we can go apart from that, today. we're just on our way to take over the next couple Order. of places. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm just thinking of what I need to do right now. I needed to build the barracks here, and that really takes up most of my funds. Uh, apart from that, I was going to build a diplomat as well. Mainly because I need to... My lord. Yep, that's fine. I need to go across to my allies Ships and ask ready. for trade agreements. Nah, Dol Amroth men-at-arms. So I am going to be sending my men up to the north. Ships ready. So if I can send. Yes, sir. Full sail. Yes. It's fine. There's some a general here. No idea what he's doing here. I'm going to send him up. What? Okay. So I'm going to end the turn, and I'll be back to see you guys in a second. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, Talakar, and so it begins as promised by Denethor the second. A victory of hope has been fulfilled. Uh, na 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 na. Uh, time for a step forward, take it over. Go on, boys. Gondor journey, man. See, I've never really seen this stuff. This is new in the mod, so it's great. They want us to take that city, okay. End of turn report, we lost some money. We are the largest faction, that's good. Journeyman of Gondor, okay, that's weird. Um, okay, so... That music's really distracting because it's really cool. I sent our men further up again. By your command. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna keep my men here. I'm gonna take. Uh, ooh, who am I gonna take out? Faramir. He will lead the uh, sort of attack against the next place. We have some axemen, some swordsmen, some bowmen. We should be fighting for that. Um, can a Faramir hire anybody? No. Can Boromir hire anybody? No. So what can we make here at the moment? We're waiting to see what happens. We have some Gondor scouts. Don't know if we need any horsemen at the moment. Uh, let's see, ballistas. See, this should make Gondor spearmen, per uh, infantry pikemen, which will be really good. Uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna, supposed to be doing with this guy yet. Oh, we have some Gondor cavalry here. That is actually pretty cool. As you wish. Actually, no. I'm gonna send him back because I might end up having to use units here to attack up the way.
So I know where he's going to begin with. I actually can't press F3 because that is the um, that is the uh, sort of button Journey that onward. will cancel my I'll recording. Once that's I just the starting and stopping. Sire. He wants to I'll see Minus Morgul, I have rested, so I will take him to see Minus Morgul. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's where he wants to be anyway. Apart from that, I'm just going to double check over my settlements and then end the turn again. I really don't need to do anything for a while, and I need to save my money up for a little bit, maybe another two turns, to build some more warriors. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Um, that's fine. It's fine. My clearance can go ahead. Fine. Yeah, it's all good. All good. Fine, yeah. So really, I'm just going to end the turn again and then wait to see if we can siege out the next place. At the moment, we've got a good hold here in Osciliath. I don't really want to do anything else apart from I do want to make some things so I can... Uh, and town watch be a wise idea anyway right watch for the enemy Okay, and I'm back, so the military report. My lords, I bring an important message from your military advisors. This is generally the normal statement you get on the normal 30 total war, saying that most of your uh, recruitment of troops is immobilized at the moment, and it'll be years before uh, the full sort of quietly. amount of units you can actually you. recruit comes about. Um, basically, that means it gives you some time to get ready. Now, as you can see here, I don't understand yes, why, but Mordor seem to be coming at me at all angles. Um, so that's not good. So, of course, I forgot, actually. Without question. I have two diplomats. Tomorrow's ah, journey. Fuck, yes, my lord. Think that. We want to send our diplomats up here. And that's fine, because that means another diplomat can go up here towards the dwarves, which are an Erebor, which are... Where Without are they again? Question. I can't even remember. They're up here somewhere. Like up here somewhere. Well, this like evil. Here. Let us claim this field. So we'll see how it happens. Anyway, Faramir is going to go attack the army there. Have a taste of my blade. So let's do that. They have two peasant archers. Yeah, we should be fine taking them. I really don't like that mortar armor sitting there. Assail the enemies of Gondor! So what am I going to do? I'm going to attack him. <laughs> there are three different generals, so this will be hilarious because we've got five different archer units and that's all I'm going to use. Okay, and welcome back to uh, the camp, uh, not the campaign map, the battle map. So I just deployed there and didn't really have to see that. Basically open plain field, that's what I like to see. This is gonna be fun. Warriors advance. So that's Boromir just there. And we're ready to go, so let's start battle. They're actually coming towards us, which is hilarious. It's gonna be funny, just watch them. Oh no, they're running away now. <laughs> now they're getting shot in the back. What idiots these orcs are. Where are you guys running away to? If 
hope they're not doing that whole thing where they can run off the map. I really hope you can't do that in this game. I think they're running to the retreat of his hill, because that's all they can do. Um, how many did we kill? Five. Five of them. It's hm. fair enough. Uh, at least it gives a little bit of time to have a look at some of our units now. Probably Gondor's unit. Uh, Gondor's Boromir's unit is probably the best looking. I love his like little black hood things that they've got on. Black capes even. And his is even blacker. <laughs> More black it should be because blacker isn't really a word. And the range of the skill they look really cool as well. Just like us chasing them. I think the Skilly's Rangers actually have a further distance. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. Uh, Skilly's Rangers have a further range of. I really don't know why my rangers aren't getting close enough. I thought they they didn't need to be that close to do it. Like, look how close they're actually going. Look how much more the Gondor military need to go. The Gondor militia. It's ridiculous, actually, how, far, how close they have to go. Now let's have a look at the orcs' perspectives of how they're being destroyed. Already down to about 91 men. 96 here. <laughs> 85 and 90, so we're doing quite well. Just a little hammering of these men, really, that's all it is. Eventually we'll kill their leaders. I don't even know where their leaders are, I've never really seen them. There, that's one there actually, and then that's one here. They're actually coming towards us. Only half the enemy force remains. Well, Skilly is actually pretty good in melee anyway, so these guys are pretty much dead. Yep, they're actually routed right there, so... It's just a matter of time before they all die. I can't believe their orc leader is actually getting away. Where is he? He's right there. Fuck, he's gonna get away. Oh, no, maybe not. Two orcs there. 
Oh, they're actually going to get away. That is disappointing. His general has fallen. Not him. He's dead. Um, these guys are fighting to their deaths. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. That's their enemy leader. That's why I wish I had cavalry actually. Cavalry would have been good. They're being hit, so I don't know why they're not dying. Come on, let's finish them so this battle's done. That's one of them dead. Come on. It's just this one general guy. He's been hit so many times now, he's lost so much blood and yet he's not dying. I think they make him generals impossible to kill by Archer Volley. Come on, fire, you fool. Take point blank. You've been hit about. There you go. Yeah. Right, so that's us done. So I'll see you back. On the campaign map. Bored by the victory we have won here today. In a second, I suppose. <laughs> right, so, uh, yeah, now I'll see you back on the campaign map. Watch for the enemy. Nah, execute. <laughs> Camp sack, it's fine. Oh, Alright, okay, it doesn't really matter. There's two little of them that we defeated them anyway. Um, I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna try and build archery. Th really, because I want to build more Skilliath Rangers. They're really good, actually, and handy. So that's fine. Well, this evil. I'm gonna wait for a couple of turns for that to happen. Trait increase, army routes, construction report, dirt roads are now done. Cool, that's fine. So really for the next turn, it's just getting an army to this point here because this is where the confrontation will be. Mordor own this area. This is Mordor here. That's of course the uh, Mount Doom. So we're going to have a hard time facing off against them. And I want an army down here at some point as well. My so, your orders. let's... Let's end the turn. So I'll be back to join you in a second. Watch for the enemy. Okay, and I'm back. So, as you can see here, we've got some more money again. End of turn report. We've actually gained a profit. Uh, we are construction complete of the town watch here, which is good. It means I can create Condor and Milita. Militia. Hostility ceased. Hi, huh, I didn't actually know you could do that. Countrymen! As you command. On my way. Come and get oh. me, you coward. volunteers. That's pretty cool, actually. But, oh well. They're not to do with us. It's a shame how long... That's only bad downfall about Gondor. It takes them forever to do anything. Basically, we're just, I'm going to siege these guys out for a bit. Oh, I forgot about the ship, actually. Crap. Ship's ready. Yes. No, don't go in there. Oh, for peace sake. Ships ready. Set sail. Orders. Okay, that's fine. So we're just gonna we're gonna send them. The fleet cannot sail there. 
These ships cannot go there. We'll send them here. And then they can just the march out and I'll help Boromir. Um, I'm not really wanting to take anything else at the moment. Ships cannot go there. Uh, of My course. Yeah, yes, you're supposed to be I going shall continue there. tomorrow. Uh, and that's really about it. The turns are supposed to end quite we fast until we can we can get anything done. Uh, I want to find a way actually of increasing some of our product. Of, no, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I want a way so we can actually make more money. Uh, increase in tradable goods, gravel roads, chicken farming, that improved population bonus. That is something to do. Uh, culture bonus, no, 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 I don't need any of that. Oh. Don't need that. Beacons of Minas Tirith. That is quite good, actually, but it's costing us quite a bit. So let's go for that. And then we shall end the turn. So I'll be back to bring you guys another turn in a second. Okay, and I'm back. So let's see. More profits again. Construction complete. Chicken farming. Yeah. Get some chicken farmers. And so mines. Just create more money. Ballistic towers. Night stables. Practice range, that's actually something that would be quite handy. I'm just making stuff in Minas Tirith because it's the main city. It's either Minas City or Dol Amroth, uh, and I need the population growth to be really good. Uh, the next level of settlements is quite a far few. See, we can already create dismounted squires. Now, they're not as good as the actual swan knights. They're quite cool, though. Spies. Ooh, we can make a, um, an assassin. That'll be good. Let's make an assassin. What I love is about all these different places that, that you can make cool units from them. So eventually I'm going to start upgrading that. Chicken farming is good. I'm going to choose chicken farming from now on. Okay, so we're still sieging out these guys. I'm waiting for them to attack us because I do not want to risk anything. Uh, I'm going to take as low level risks as Ships I can. Ready. Yes, sir. Okay. Full sails. We can go no further... We can go okay, no so we'll be about two turns till we get there. Minas Tirith is going fine. We're doing good. Uh, just to make sure everything's okay. Yes, my lord. We're bordering into the realms of Rohan now. Without question. And with our spy, we have a spy here. My lord. Approaching. There's a reason why I'm here. It's because this is the border for crossing. Uh, there is another one here. But that's fine. I can get another spy there eventually. Ships ready. My lord. Or what I can do is put um Marchmen. Um here. These ships cannot go there. Like what I can do is I can ships put a watchtower ready. here. My lord. Here and then ships ready. any enemies that will be coming. I really shouldn't have left that um city unattended. But oh well. Forward. Let's end the turn again. Okay, and we're back. So I think I may leave it here. Um, just because I've already been playing this for about, like, what, 30 minutes of recording now. So it's going to take me ages to upload anyway. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm going to come right back and play some more anyway. So you'll probably see more videos uh, the day after or even on the same day, depending on how the uploads go. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. I have. And, um, well... If you have any like sort of feedback that you want me to know about, don't be afraid to tell me in the comment section because I probably I do look at all of them and I do probably respond to most of them. So if you do have any queries about the campaign or anything that I should do, uh, just tell me. Uh, so again, thanks for watching uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed.